Hi guys, welcome back to another FST 12.5.2.1 video. I am on the latest software right now, 12.5.2.1. I made a video a um, few days back and I got a lot of heat uh, on some of uh, you know the new thing that I mentioned in the video. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna clarify one thing. I'm not gonna be sugarcoating things and like saying everything is good around FSD when it's not. So, you know, if you are only here to see good things or want me to say good things about FSD, uh, you can basically unsubscribe, you know, again, because I am not going to be somebody who's going to be giving you one-sided opinion. I own this car from my own money and I paid for the FST. So what you see here uh, in terms of how FST is working is uncut footage. I'm always going to show you what I actually observed or like, you know, seen. So that's the whole point, right? I'm not an influencer. Somebody said like I'm influencing and, um, you know, I'm trying to uh, act like an influencer. I am not. This is again my own car with my own money. And like, you know, I paid for the FST, right? So Tesla is not paying me for anything. So all the good things or like the bad things you're seeing is actually the scenario that I'm coming across with. So with these things out of the way, if you're still interested, please consider subscribing for an unbiased kind of review on FSD. And then um, also, you know, provide your feedback in the comment section down below. Um, as I mentioned, right, I listen and, you know, I read all the feedback and comments that you guys give and provide my opinion based on that. So everything out of the way, let's test some more. This is my second documented drive with this version of FSD. Um, and um, you know I put some directions in I'm on the state highway right now and let's see how the FST is gonna perform so it did like the lane changes as you've noticed while I was talking uh, which is fine you know uh, it waited for the car to pass by no issues with that and again like if you are like trying to see what I mentioned or like what I'm talking about at, at the start of the video please consider looking at my last video which I just posted yesterday um, and like you know see the comments underneath that you'll see what I'm talking about right so okay perfect so we're gonna go 0.9 miles I think and then we are gonna be making some turns I think And I've been testing the FSD since last November, so I have been testing it on version 11, 2, 12, and like you know, 12.3s, 12.5 now. Uh, everything up until now has been good, and I didn't notice many issues. Again, here and there, things are there uh, that popped up, but uh, lately, like when I switched to 12.5.1.1 and then 1.2. You know, I started no noticing these uh, few issues that I mentioned in my past video, and hopefully, it's it's gonna be improved plus like AI-based hardware for car. So you know, if the models are learning on the go, I'm expecting things to get better. Okay, so. in the lane and again look at this I am not doing anything we missed our exit the navigation was telling the FSD to take that right now it didn't do that right so now we have to go straight and then make a turn I think from there so this is the new one for me FST is not following the navigation uh, again I didn't do anything if you guys people who roasted me in the comments in my last video see did I do anything wrong here tell me right so it's breaking now there's a car in the front And I'm paying my full attention when I'm driving. So if anything 
that is there that I have to take over right away, I do that. If you've been watching and following me for a while, you, you can notice that in my previous videos as well. And I'm just gonna send some feedback to Tesla as well. You can do that by pressing this and then recording. FSD is not following the navigation and it did not turn for the navigation. Here the recording has been sent. So this is for the people who tell me that I am not sending feedback to Tesla. I do that not on the camera all the time. So just letting you guys know. So I love this technology. I am not like saying that that I have, you know, like hate for this technology. I really like this. It's very innovative, very, very great and came a long way. But there are things that you need to know, especially if you are using this and, uh, you know, trying to use FSD for your daily commute. So I do use this on my daily commute. I'm showing you guys some of the limitations that are still there so that you can drive this and use this uh, thing in a better way and a safer way as well, right? It's completely uh, supervised, I would say, still. You need to have full attention here when you're driving. Uh, you cannot 100% rely on FSD. Um, although it will not go and hit anybody, at least that's what I can say, uh, or like hit, hit, hit like anything in this way, it'll stop. You know but uh, there are issues with this technology still which need to be addressed and I, I bring those things in my videos right although overall I would say like again uh, I am still very much confident that like these things that coming up here and there can be addressed by uh, the software updates so while I was talking as you've noticed we have you know made a turn and now we are going um, in that direction which is fine but we should have basically took the right turn from back there and now we have to drive a little bit extra so let me know if you guys have came across a scenario where FSD missed an exit and uh, did not follow the navigation cause this is the first one for me I think so I am going to add this to the list of things that I've noticed in my uh, last video. Again, people who are interested in this kind of content and like, you know, my honest, honest opinion around FSD, good or bad, please then consider subscribing. Uh, it really helps the channel and, you know, as I mentioned at the start of the video, if you're looking just for the one-sided view, that's not the channel for this. You you can basically find other channels online and get that one-sided view from other reviewers. Okay, so one mistake so far. Other than that, everything is fine. It's driving fine. We are using the automatic set speed offset setting. So it's going at 41 miles right now and the speed limit is 40. It's fine, no issues with that. Okay, I think we're gonna be, yeah, we are approaching a stop sign. And from the stop sign, we are gonna be making a left turn. So did the right thing, came in the left lane, approaching the stop sign. moving forward a little bit still fine no issues traffic coming from both sides so it's still like creeping forward and let's see creeping forward still cars coming from both sides okay as you can see Okay, so this was a perfect example of when FSD 
you know is doing the move perfectly so no issues with that really impressed with this because I was like uh, blinded again I'm look relying on the cameras but as a driver I was not able to see the traffic coming from especially from my right side because there was another car um, but FST had no issues with this So that route that I tested in my last video, I'm gonna do that same route again uh, in like my coming videos, maybe uh, later this week. Okay, so we have to make a right from here. I do think you can make a right. No, we cannot. So it says uh, on the sign there, no turn on red. So we have to wait for our signal and then we will be making the turn. Okay, so look at this. Look at this. It was going, was going. It should not have done that. Now it should go. So I stopped the car and stopped the FSD because it was left signal that was turned green and FSD was starting to go. So again, I just disengaged it and you know re-engaged it afterwards so again the point of this is like you know these things were not there in the 12.5 uh, version earlier version right so all of these issues started happening and the new issues that we know to think today started happening after the 12.5.1 uh, and 1.3 updates right and this is the 12.5.2 I was expecting this to be better but I I can say with my two drives that I documented as well that we are not improving but it's going back and things that were not there before um, you know we are seeing issues with those these, these things were never an issue in the previous version so again just uh, showing you everything as is